Hey guys. This it's is Matt. Matt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jen. That's the uh, yeah. Uh, I thought it was Sally, but anyway, anyway. Not Sally. Uh, we just saw Suicide Squad, and um, this is full of spoilers, just to let you know ahead of time. As usual, and we're gonna be touching on some stuff that, as fans of DC, most people would kind of think is sacred ground to talk about, but. Because we know a bunch of critics have been kind of crapping all over this movie, we're going to do our best to make sure you guys know this comes up from a respectful place and not from just two people bashing the movie. And for the record, if you haven't seen it, you should see it. Yeah, it's an overall great movie, but we do it have is. some things that we think could have been adjusted. Just don't not see the movie just yeah. because someone said XYZ. Because it is a good movie overall, but we're going to give you a little bit more insight into why we think yeah. things are the way they are. I don't think anyone's ever actually said XYZ in regards to a movie, but, you know, that's just a thing. Another warning. Explicit. Can't promise it. XYZ actually took the place of an explicit. Oh, whatever. Cue the intro! <laughs> Welcome back to the set, which is an office bedroom, whatever. Okay, so, Suicide <laughs> Squad. Now that we've seen it, um, within the first week it's been out, which came out on Friday. Right. right? And you guys will be seeing this um, Monday. Right? right. Yeah, Monday. Um, overall, I thought the movie was great. It was it a was great a movie. It was a great overall movie. There was, of course, some things that could have been adjusted or just kind of taken out or whatever. But I do think it was a good movie to actually the see. The key word is movie. 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 And you have to remember that a lot of times with movies, everyone knows Hollywood at this point. Yeah. Yeah. And when Hollywood gets a hold of things and you have a lot of people with their hands in the pot, yep. things get mixed up. Yep. And I think that is kind of what we're going to touch on a little bit. But I'm telling you, really, it is good. It's a good movie. Just it's, it's don't something... go in fan... Based and yeah, don't go in fangazing everywhere because yes, you're don't. gonna have a bad time. You're just, it's just, it's. it's a, Matt just had that experience. See, so in, yeah, exactly. Which just in the past couple of years, like every DC movie that's come out, um, it's always been an a really bad adventure in storytelling, from my opinion. Like, we have the general idea. Okay, let's just take Green Lantern because we're talking about DC. Let's take Green Lantern. Ryan Reynolds. Okay, now even though that movie got crapped on by everybody, myself included, because of course it had its faults, it was still a good actual movie, right? Yes, no, The no movie problem. itself was great. It didn't look the best some scenes, some of the dialogue was kind of choppy and crappy looking, sounding, but it was still a good actual movie. Now coming back to, to Suicide Squad, like yeah, there were some things that were kind of just off to me because I'm used to seeing the characters in a certain light. And seeing them in this movie, I was just like, that doesn't make any sense to me. And we are going to remember that they're, although DC has promised they were going to try to stay true to the roots, they're technically not lying. Oh my god. But hopefully w with Jeff Jones taking the reins and things and just like boning things into submission, that's going <laughs> to that's gonna change. Because Jeff Jones, we need you now more than ever after seeing this movie. And you have to know that also there's a ton of comics. Yes. A ton of different worlds yes. that I think that got mishmashed into this. Yeah, I think they're just like combining the best aspects of whatever multiverse DC has yes. into one story now. Because I've noticed different bits here and there from different characters, even with the TV shows. Mm -hmm. Like they're mixing things into one character to make it the best version possible right. for that story. Which makes sense from an outsider's perspective. Like someone who didn't know anything about the TV show or movie and reading it or watching it. But someone who's actually a fan picking up on that stuff, they're just like, hey, you took that character from, like, this universe and mixed it with that one. Those are two totally different people. That's not cool. But, you know, that's, that's just, that's my bit on that for the, for the moment. So just know, personality yeah. disorders for all. 
Yeah, and one thing I want to, like, just say for a second is there's a lot of, I guess, Easter eggs in Suicide Squad that you should just, like, pay a close, pay a close eye on because they happen in a flash. <laughs> and that's, yeah, that was kind of yeah. bad. No, whatever. I'm not, I'm not that good at puns. Little things that are said. This Little is my things that are done. Though. Yeah. Car mic. Yeah. Which we ventured to. I paid 15 bucks for that cut. Well, not it was like 10, but still, like, what the hell? That's. <sighs> yeah. That's I hate, why I don't. I'm so glad I'm not dating anymore. I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, dude. It's... You don't have to do it all the time. Full price, two full price tickets would be like 20 bucks. And here I go to the matinee. Jesus. A uh, Twilight show that's like four bucks. Oh, uh, I'm sticking to Tuesday movies from now on. Five bucks. But Matt and I, this is yeah. the first chance we got to experience the movie together. Yeah. So yeah. we are coming at the same feelings at the same time. Yeah. There's so many. It is so much that he's having to take in. Like, there's so many things I just want to like be angry about and scream about, but I can't. Let's talk about what we what we like. We like Amanda. Yeah. Who's Amanda? Amanda Waller is uh, the head of Argus, and she's. She is the queen of mean. Yeah. <laughs> she's got resting bitch face all the time. But she pulls it off. Even in her sleep. Like, she's got dead yeah, shot. Totally just dead. Just, yeah. No emotion whatsoever. You can't even tell if she's hungry, constipated, angry, nothing. Just brick. You just focus on the pearls and go on. Yep. I wonder who gave her that pearl necklace. Moving Later. on. <laughs> no. Ew, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Alright, so we liked Amanda. Amanda yeah. was good. She did exactly what her character does. She gathers yeah. together. You know, is... when they cast Viola Davis for, for Amanda Waller, I was just like, done. Sold. I got no it questions worked. there. No questions. Because even, like, when Even they, though she looks too government for my taste. You know, like, okay, I think she was in the West Wing, and she had a similar role there anyway. So that's why they, they pegged her for the project. That's the only thing that I had with her, is that she looked too political, and she was, like, the... She was the dirty secret, the pol politicians were yeah, really Yeah, she's not really, like, a, a military official. Mm, no. Like, she's, she's like, kind of, like, the secretary for that side of the government anyway. Well, like... Being all basic and everything. Well, she has to suck up to them for funding everything. for her task force. Exactly. Which, so, that's what this actually is. It's not yes. Suicide Squad, it's Task Force X. Task Force X. But Deadshot gives it the nickname, Suicide Squad. I still think they should have put Deathstroke in it, but that's just my, that's just my two cents. Mm, maybe they'll put it in the next one. Maybe, hopefully. They, since, they're saying that there's a possibility. Since they killed off the Deathstroke one. from Arrow for no goddamn reason. They killed it off because of this movie. They did everything... In Arrow, because of this movie. Yep. You know that. And yep. we know this, if you know anything, is that they were starting Suicide Squad. We even got a okay. Harley teaser. My, okay, you exactly. Know. My biggest qualm with the TV shows versus the movies. If DC has stated that they will have nothing to do with each other, period, why can't they use the same characters with different actors? They've got the Flash going and they're going to have a Flash movie, so why exactly. can't they do that? Exactly. Like, what's the difference? I know, like, okay... If you have any, like, tips or inside information on this, put it in the comments, because I want to know all about this. I've This has been bugging me since Arrow has been on. Just, okay. Oh, Maybe. no, I got, I got completely, like, yeah. they had an entire storyline. They actually said they yep. had to scrap a whole season because they said you can't use our stuff. Yep. So that upset me a little bit. But I actually just want to stop watching Arrow for a while, and then yeah. I got back to it. Like, let's kick. Okay, let's just let's go back. I don't want to get sidetracked with Arrow and Flash. I just that's a whole thing I can talk about. We're going to be getting to that soon enough. Yeah, that's yeah. Trust me. We're going to give you plenty on that. And I'm, I have a I have a I have a shirt to wear every episode. Oh, which close. works for me. I think I have like four more shirts to buy to wear got, every episode. I've got my pops for most everything. I have a pop and it's delicious. <laughs> so okay. we got. So we okay. agree on Amanda Waller. We go to Amanda Waller. That's one of the few things this movie we actually can agree on and just like be cut and dead shot. about it. Yeah, Deadshot. So we'll go on that. Deadshot, love. Also love. surprised when they cast Will, Will Smith as dead, Deadshot. But. That's big points on that. I mean, the, he's a great actor, so they picked the actor for the role. Yeah, like. I don't think he could have been better. I heard some early reports, which don't, don't quote me this because I don't remember if this is actually like, um, if it was a parody article or something like, something stupid like that. But I heard that they were. 
trying to get Matt Damon for it. Oh, hell no. And I was just like, I hope that's not true. And then one said Tom Cruise. I'm like, why? And I'm like, okay, they got Will Smith. All he knows how to do is Mission Impossible. <laughs> yeah, and it, like he, even in Jack Reacher, he's still... Miss, yes. Mi what, what, was his, what was his name in Mission Impossible? I think it was, was it Jack also? I think so. I think it was Jack something. Doesn't matter. We've seen so many Mission Impossibles. I remember the TV show reruns, so I'm totally... There's a TV show? He's so young. She's like 30 years older than me, so I'm sorry. <laughs> it was I mean, actually before how, my time. How old are you? Never mind. Moving on. You get. You guys can guess in the comments how old she is. Now, <laughs> Anyone who knows me can't say it. And in episode 12, if you guess it right, I'll give you a surprise. You don't want the surprise. Yeah, you do. Trust me. <laughs> you can buy stuff with it. Moving on. Okay, so Amanda Waller and Deathstroke out. So that leaves us Harley, Croc, Flag... There, there's some that are not on here. You've what got. What was her name? Huh? Okay, That's Katana. Okay, Katana. Katana, yeah. you should know. She's actually been in. Whatever. Was it in Arrow? She was in Arrow. Was she, yeah, yeah, she was in Arrow. That's right. So you should know her. Yeah. yeah so you've got Katana. You've got. Uh, my nose is itchy. Today. Let me move. I'm sorry. I'm not picking my nose. It's just itchy. I do it all the time. So you've got Killer Croc. Killer Croc is something we can also agree on. Yes. Pretty awesome. Look like he was pulled through from the comics. Actually, um, that's all prosthetic. Like that's all paint and actual physical makeup. Like, he wanted to do the makeup on his body so it looked more realistic. No costume. That's, that's not costume. It looked like, good. That's all painted on or airbrushed. He looks really good. I think he did a good job with the character. Yeah. So there, that's three. Three? Oh, we're on a fucking hot streak now. We are. That's rare. So we'll go with... Well, hey, let's start at the bottom. Why are we going to start at the Sorry, bottom? Sorry, from the bottom now I'm here. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. We've got that dude. That dude. What's that dude's name? Slipknot. Not the band. No. The band's more awesome. Eh. I'm not a Slipknot fan. I'm sorry, guys. But anyway. I um, think I should just move over here. There you go. Go. Okay. We got You've got Slipknot. Slipknot. He doesn't really matter. He's actually not that big of a character nope, in the comics anyway. he's in like anyway. 30 minutes of the movie. But that's okay. We got Slipknot up here. He doesn't matter because nope. Slipknot, thanks to Boomerang. Yep. He, he's a little experiment. Spoiler. And he kind of goes dead. So Slipknot. We are gone. Slip not get tongue out to dry. Totally. And I'm like jacking this thing off. Yeah, that's terrible. That was a bad <laughs> idea altogether. It was. I needed to think. This yeah. is the marker, that's the crayon. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's pretty awesome. Slip not dead. I tried. I'm an idiot. I won't do that again. Hey, she admitted it finally. <gasps> what the fuck? Sorry. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Matt, get ready. What? I'm a massive that's idiot. One. Okay, so... <laughs> slip not done over with nope. now we have diablo. diablo i got nothing against diablo I got nothing against him i thought he was he was kind of just there for story purposes until the end yeah he's only like i think like he's 10 minutes total of actual importance in the movie and it's like a two-hour movie he really grows with his conscience and he has taken a lot that he has done that he blames his yeah. specific power because he's a human yeah and he blames his power for what he's done, so he's trying to take penance on, upon himself. It's actually Harley who tells him, <laughs> what? Hail Mary! Hail Mary! Basi Hail Mary. Is that not basically what he does? <laughs> basically. That is basically what he does. Yeah. And Harley has told him, she said, you need to own it. You and need to own that shit. So between Harley and then Deadshot constantly yeah. talking to him, Deadshot was his pep talk. You mean egging him on? Yeah. Well, he said, I had to do it to get you there, did he not? So... So I'm trying to get you there, man. We cool? We cool? Needless to say, Diablo ended up being super fucking awesome. Yeah. At the end. Finally. We're talking video game, next gen kind of thing. Talking like uh, Super Mario Mushroom. <laughs> and he... Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Does it? Yeah. I didn't own a so. Nintendo. So you didn't... Okay. What, oh, so now we're even. I didn't know Mission Impossible. She didn't own a Nintendo. Whatever. We're even. We've agreed on three things so far. We didn't know... Did you know 18 was a TV show, right? Yeah, I know that. Okay, so you at least know that. Yeah, I know that. Okay. But Mission Impossible was done in the 60s. 60s, 70s, somewhere around there. I was born in 89. I understand that, but that's called reruns that were on TV at the time. Which happened like during my time period like when I had no cable. Rerun? Huh? Like the character rerun? Character. Never mind. I don't know who Rerun is, that's what you're talking exactly, about? Exactly, yes. Okay. okay. Captain Boomerang. 
Now that's something that... Who literally threw four boomerangs, one of which, one of, one of which just served as a camera. Yes, it that's did. It. Which was a little disappointing in that, yeah. because Boomerang is the exact opposite of what he really is in the comics. Yeah, like he's just he an actually idiot seems in this like movie. he is. He hates everyone and does yeah. not want to do anything except for what Cat called. What was it? Um, cold that he teams up with sometimes. Yeah, that's it. That's it. In the comics, yeah. he hates everyone. He kills everyone. That's why everybody hates him because he just because are they going to be like shorted out or killed? I right. don't want to kill him either. So you've got that. But the thing is with Boomerang, I just find funny because he says, I'm leaving. I really am First leaving. First chance he gets. Takes off. He Ten becomes later, the human Boomerang. It's like, make up your mind, jackass. So he comes back because Harley kind of says, why not? you got nothing else to do. you got nothing else to do. So, and we've got... Moving on to Madam Slice and Dice, Katana. Katana, I'm hoping to see a little bit more of her. Uh, I could, couldn't care less. Her storyline regarding the husband and sword and the fact that she stole yeah. that. Did she not steal that from she stole Roz? That, she stole that from the person who, who killed she her. She got it from the League of Assassins. And the mo in the movie, we're going with the movie. We're okay. In the movie. In the so movie her his stated, but her history. I don't care about her history. We're talking about the movie. I thought we were talking about the comics and that. Well, I mean, for, 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 for this particular okay. second. Okay, movie purposes. From where the sword came that. from. Okay. We're talking about, okay, it said in the movie that she stole the sword from the guy who killed her husband. Now, in the movie, it's not stated if Ross killed her husband or not, or just some random guy who works with um, whoever. But I was going to say, in the comic, she infiltrates yeah, it and could then be she steals anybody it. anybody in the movie. Right. It could have been Joker in the movie, but we'll get the Joker in a minute. He wants to get the Joker. We'll get the Joker in a minute. He's got a lot to say about Joker. I do, I do, because it's a really complicated issue, and I'm really kind of upset about it, but we're, whatever, Katana. So, you've got Katana. We've already talked about Deadshot. Yep. Red Flag. Yep. Rick Flag. Don't you mean bitch flag? He, I wouldn't call him useless, but he was a pawn. He's basically, just like everyone else. He's basically useless. He was. It was. It was. Let's say Rick. Every time he turned around, it was let's say Rick. Because so like The Walking Dead. Yes. Oh my God, Rick in <laughs> trouble. Save Rick and we all die. So Stop. He, Stop making useless main characters. Jesus. Make everyone else useless. I still say Carl's the main character. But that's not point. He's got a bro. I think Carol's the main character, but that's my opinion. Read the comics. Well, I don't care about the comics. <laughs> I haven't read a comic since, I don't know, Marvel Secret Wars number two. So, the comic book guy says he hasn't read comics lately. Because I, I work, dude, I, don't, I have a lot going on when I'm at home, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry! No, I'm not. Moving on. Okay. Last. <sighs> But this is who's on here. We have other characters that are not on here. We're yeah. gonna, we have Harley up here, which we're going to be discussing along yeah. with. But, so we're going to bring in Enchantress, which she's actually in that poster. You know, I you. don't know shit about Enchantress, to be honest with you. Okay. I don't. Enchantress, Enchantress in the movie, and actually in the comics, is basically the same thing. Is that um, it's, a, it's not actually a metahuman. It's in, in possession. Well, I mean, like... She's literally see, possessed. See, we see that, but she just calls her a metahuman because from that point on, she basically is a metahuman. Well, when they converge towards yeah, the end, yes. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But at the beginning, when she does the back and forth between June Moon and her... I thought that was really sweet the way they did it, though. Like, with the, the hand With thing, the hand? That was awesome. That creeped me the fuck out, but it was awesome. It was complete symbolism for exactly what was... But I'm passing, kind of passing the torch on to you. This is me. We're switching sides. It was weird as shit, but I loved it. It's I, yeah. definitely... When it comes to Enchantress and June Moon, I have nothing bad to say about that. Nothing. Which is surprising. I think her herself was really good. I, yeah. I brought up that... June Moon was great. No, not about her. Oh, Enchantress. Okay. Um... Okay. Enchantress, I think, how, how should I put it? Well, as I was telling you, I saw a lot of resemblance to Akasha yeah. from the Vampire Chronicles, and Rice writes those, and then if you see Queen of the Dam, uh, Damned, sorry, apologies. I thought she was just, Sh just Shakira in demon form. That's Sh how I got it. You see Shakira, I just see Leah. Yeah, I see Shakira. Whatever. She, I, she totally watched Leah. I okay. have memorized Shakira's hip movements. Do they lie? No, they don't lie. <laughs> They're very honest. Able to be proud. Now, one character that we don't know about is 
this enchantress's brother. There's apparently yeah. this super boss being that yeah. Diablo pretty much puts to town. It was so funny, too. I said, Diablo makes him the It's all now, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> like, Viva la Mexico! Because Diablo's next. Okay. Moving on. No arguments. Viva la Mexico. Um, Sorry. if you're wondering, I'm checking my notes. But I think that's pretty much what we've got. I think we can get into... Actually, what we're going to do is... We're going to cut this into segments, and yep. if you're ready to stop hearing our opinions, we'll give you a quick opinion on Joker and Harley, and then we're going to cut, and then if you want to continue... Part two. Part two? Part two. Definitely go to that. We're not done, but we've given you all the necessary information that you we're need. We're trying to keep things short for you guys. So we don't have like long, huge videos you can have to like kind of cut and come back to later. Trying to like have little bits so you can listen to while you're, I don't know, pooping right. and be done. So. Exactly. So that's what we're gonna do. So, yep. but he. So we're gonna say quickly. Um, he's got his theories about the Joker. Yes. Two, two, no, three Joker theories. That is definitely why you want to click for the next episode. Yes. Because he, I mean, they are. Massive. I'm. That's two. Uh, <laughs> I do okay, have a purpose, so you know this, right? Stop here, <laughs> like, comment, share to your friends, and you can come back for a part two for my Joker theories. And then you've got Harley. We have to go a little bit more in-depth into Harley because we have our own thoughts on it. Yeah. So, we'll talk to you in a minute.